Oh, bloody hell. Are you scared the life out of me. Monday's best. picture out of the stomach. You might not like it, but... Oh, it's so cute! It's hot coffee. What? Hot coffee. So I've got to fly home for hot coffee. So there's drawers to put it in. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. There was a giant one. There was a giant one. Turn around, boys. This oh. <laughs> is nice. <laughs> yeah, you're having a good time. I'm having a great time. I'm here for the boys. I'm Team Stoltman all the way. Stretching <laughs> 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 done. Yeah, why are you breathing heavy? I did stretching. Oh, that shouldn't make you breathe heavy. Nick's got it, cool power, baby. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Spicy, Tom and Luke for the win. Honest podium position, Tom. I thought it felt like Hooper. Thank you so much. Evan, but I want Luke to be there. I really want Luke there. I really want Luke there. And I, just, I hope Luke gets his best, best result ever this year. Go Luke, go Tom. You were here rooting for you. Hey, hey. Good luck Tom. Good luck Tom. Good luck Tom. Good luck, Tom. Good luck, Tom. Good luck Luke. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Yes, of course, this is really when it starts, let's be honest. You know, previously, some guys are cruising in, Tom, Mitch, cruising in third, fourth gear. It's all out war now, you know, it's going to be immense. Tom looks good, he's calm, he hasn't flicked the kill switch yet, and that's perfect. Hey, yeah, all right, how are you? Sorry. It's alright, you can do it. Feeling good today. The, the difference with the heats is it's like such a big goal to get to the final that I feel like once you get to the final, um, Luke's good at these events. Um, he should be efficient at the yoke into farm, uh, well, frame carry. And his warm ups actually look better than the other day, which is great. Um, and then Max Axel, Luke's amazing at, and Kegfro, it's one of them. It's just, it's a kind of a bit of a rest event for the guys. I just got, to, just got to watch. There's not much coaching you can do. Just hope that they can uh, get the line right. Maybe give them a few corrections on the line. Uh, so it's a bit of a chill day. But Luke's looking really good though. Well, the 320 frame sounds light for these guys, um, but you don't know what the handles are like and also how it feels after doing that yoke. Um, I expected him to 
finish that frame. Well, I expected both of them to finish the frame. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see how everyone else does. I'm really proud of the three Canadian boys who are finishing the final. Oh, I think you got trapped under the fucking thing. Oh, my God. Is he alright? Oh my god, he dropped it. Please welcome out the last two men with the Connect Giants medley here in Rattle Beach. The reigning world's strongest man, Mitchell Hooper! The former two times SBD world's strongest man, Tom Stoltman! I dropped it just before the line, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. The, uh, the back end of the yoke, when I went down across the finish line, it landed directly on my foot, kind of hyperextended my foot a little bit. Uh, it hurts, but nothing's torn, nothing's broken. I'm good. Well, I'm so happy, man. Tom, Tom deserves this. He's really worked hard for this, and uh, he's a good man, bro. He's been training really hard. Tom, if you're watching this, I'm proud of you, man. That was unbelievable. Hey, big shout out to this man. This man, he's a villain, man. He was in the group of Tom, now Hooper, and he broke the guy down. This man is the next big thing. He's in trouble. 23 years old. <laughs> so, guys, event one, World's Strongest Man final is done. Fantastic result for Tom. The last conversation we had last night was about minimizing damage compared to Mitch. We know coming into this, Mitch is best, one of the best yoke carriers in the world. He's incredible at moving events. So we were trying to sort of do some damage limitation. To come away three points clear is exactly what we want to be. It's nice that there's no Welsh in the final as well. I think that really oh, don't makes every... Don't talk again. Yeah, what a performance by Tom. Fucking awesome, absolute monster. Um, great way to start the first event, I think, for him. He looks really relaxed, which is scary. Really scary. Um, Obviously, I got him down because he's a good friend. I have loads of love and respect for him. I got him down to win. It's going to be a fight that's not disrespecting any athletes, but uh, I don't think Tom gets out of first gear sometimes. Uh, when Tom drops a hammer, um, yeah, I understand I want to win, but when Tom drops a hammer, it's hard to hold that man back. So, yeah, I got him down for his, uh, his third title, without a shadow of a doubt. Love you, Tom. Beauch. Pretty much what he said. Yeah, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Gab. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now the first event's gone, but then it'll, the nerves will come back just as Tom goes up and Luke as well. When they go up, I'll get really nervous again. But I like to try and control it, and I felt really bad earlier because I wasn't in control of my emotions and the nerves and stuff, so that was horrible. 
I think because Tom was super nervous as well. So kind of changed up a little bit and ready to go. In five, four, three. Don't start yet. So Max Axel, uh, they've got 170 as the opener, then it's 180, 190, 200. It's just round robin, so it's going to keep it uh, increasing weight. Every athlete's got to lift. If you fail, you're out. Um, this is a good event for Luke and for Tom. Luke, his warm-ups looked fantastic. I'm hoping Luke can hit the 190 and have a good stab at the 200. I think Luke and Tom uh, and Hooper are probably going to be the three standouts. Um, although Andrade looked in the warm-ups like a very strong presser, and he does say he's Mexican Eddie Hall, so uh, yeah, it maybe he's got a massive axle as well. Luke Stoker! Second man to complete 170 kilograms. Bad job. Representing Great Britain. Tom. Great job. Easy for the big in. The next man through 170, 375. That was a cheeky wee face, wasn't it? To optimise strength. 395 pounds, 180 kilograms. Yes! Yes! Put your hands together for Luke. Best of cinema action. Beautiful. For Tom Stoltman. There's more left in the tank, that's for sure. Yes! Come on! Come on, Luke. Come on! Yes! 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 He didn't have his balance and one arm wasn't fully up. Look at what this was about, yeah. Just what he was off so close. You can see from Luke's smile he was happy with the decision, you know. Yeah. Who's yeah. Actually, 462 pounds. It's as close as we can get it to, all right? Yes, 462. It's as close to 210 kilos as we can get. Yeah, that's so, We're only working at pounds. So, Pamela Cordy Atkins decided to skip this round. Come on, Tom. Tight number three, Tom. Come on, Tom. Punch it, Tom. Punch it. Finish it. Finish it. Come on. Finish it. So, 210 kilos, moving nice and easy, exactly what we want. If he wants to go heavy, let him go heavy, burn himself out. It's time to take a title home. It's not about f***ing Axel, so it's about taking the title back to Scotland. I was kind of hoping for a world record from Tom, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Just another being part of this bit. Well, not too bad. I'm sitting in third right now. We'll see. I'll uh, never really thought I'd be here, <laughs> so that's fun. Um, no, I'm just having a good time, man. First world strongest man, first world strongest man, first world strongest man final. Uh, couldn't couldn't ask for anything better, really. Honestly, it's just having fun, lifting weights. Look better than that on the beach. Come on. Keg toss is rather than like a run like we see in like Giants Live normally, it's from max height. So it's a tricky one to really predict. What we've seen in like Giants Live and in training is Tom just launches them. So if we can take the event win would be absolutely perfect. And then we're just getting more and more points in the bank for tomorrow. It'd be nice to finish the day in the lead and yeah, see what everyone else does.
Ooh, spicy. <laughs> Extra spicy. Yeah. But yeah. Man, I think, man, you man, you need to think more vertical. Because you're going to have to change your line to, right. to sneak over and then just more vertical throw. If you, if you get the line right, you can get the next yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to be seven meters. <laughs> Giving us all a fright here in Myrtle Beach. Move, Tom. Oh, Tom. Easy work, smooth. The next one's a world record, so Sam's trying to claim what he didn't quite hit in 21. Come on, Tom. First go, Tom. Let's go. Come on, Tom. Let's go, Let's go, Tom! Come on, Tom! Come on! It's yours, Tom! Same as the last one, Tom! Come on, Tom! Yes! Oh, oh, it's it's a little bit That was so close. So close. Too close. Too close. That was a cardiac event. That's all you can say is that's a cardiac event. And, uh, well, a few years of the life are now gone. We finished the day three points ahead. Luckily, not getting that lift didn't really cost us much. I think we'd have maybe gained half a point, maybe one point at most. So it's a nice place to be. Three points going into nice night of recovery. Let's get in, hammer the Conan's wheel in the morning and then see where we're at. So Luke's doing amazing. I'm really happy with uh, today so far. Um, the medley was a little bit of a surprise to me, but then when we seen everyone, it just seemed that the handles or the width of the handles or something, or probably just being bad from two days of competing, made the frame more difficult than expected. Um, Axel, I was so happy with Luke, because when Luke came to me, he had a 170 Axel, he's ruled this clean, and managed to uh, polish it up in training. So to go out there and do a 190, which he has hit in the gym before, but it was like a 20 kilo PB in the moment, and then he got this close to 200 kilos. It was, uh, honestly, if you, if you feel the floor out there, guys, it's like a mat on top of sand and it's squishy, and when he dipped, you could just see that his foot must have collapsed or moved, and it just sent the axle in a slightly different direction than vertical, and I think if that hadn't happened, it would have been a bit of a speed rep, to be honest. So I was really proud with his progress on Axel, but he ended up just losing his line. He was fighting it for about five seconds, just missed it. But it's one of those lifts, if you've ever done one of these lifts in training, guys, you know what I mean, where you know you're strong enough to get it, but you just slightly missed it. So we kind of like, at least we earned the 200 kilo Axel badge. We just didn't quite get it perfectly for comp standard. Um, and then the keg throw, um, I've learned a lot from watching the keg throw. I think I would train my athletes differently next time uh, after seeing it in person. Uh, but Luke did really well, he hit 6.5 meters. Um, it just so happened that there was a load of good throwers here, um, including his brother, Mr. Tossel, who narrowly missed the, uh, well, he brought the world record, didn't he? But narrowly missed breaking the world record again. He had two really close attempts. Uh, he was adjusting his line really nicely as the uh, height went up, so that was brilliant. But yeah, I've learned a lot of lessons from watching Luke um, and everyone do the keg throw for height. So if that crops up again, I'm going to train him differently. And we'll see you tomorrow.